Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce how to simulate the stiffness of a spring. The spring is made of steel and the first part I will introduce how to create this model and we share how to make the static stiffness analysis at this part. So first, well, I'll show you how to create this model in the part. So let's check the model tree and this is through solid revolve torque and we need to give it a profile and the diameter of the rail is about three millimeters and the diameter to the center line is 15 millimeters so i can and show you. So here we need to choose solid and revolution. And here it just 200 at the default. Uh, we need to create the profile at the center. The coordinate is 15, 0. And the radius of the wire is 1.5, so it's 15.5. So here is the profile, and done. Here we need to input the angle, we need to revolve. I, here I create the spring with 10 coil, 10 coil, so it's 10 multiplied 350. And here we need to give it a pitch, and the pitch direction is as this arrow shows. So we have the pitch with 3 watt 2 okay let's get a give it 3 so here is the spring sorry the computer is a little uh, slow okay that's a little difference with the uh, original part. Let's check it. So it's 15, 1.5, and it's the pitch. The pitch is 5 millimeter. So I need to change. I give it five. So here is the spring we have created. And then we need to create a material property and a section. Here we use a steel with the Yarns modular is two hundred six gig pass and the portion ration 0 0.3 this is enough uh, for the elastic analysis uh, then we create a solid homogeneous section here and choose the material steel we have created this is simple.
Then we need to as assign this, this section to this part. Here we it is it should be deformable part. So I can assign the section to the part. So at its assembly, we just uh, click OK. It will work. And then we go into the set module. In this module, we need to create a static general step. And with the nonlinear non is off. And I give the increment size, size 0 0.1 because it's a linear analysis. Here is what we got. Then we go to interaction module. Uh, we need to fix this end and give a displacement at this end so i i create a reference point in the center of this circle face here we can create the reference point And then we create a coupling to give the fixed boundary condition here. Then in the load module, first we fix this reference point. It means we fix this whole surface. And in the first step, we need to uh, keep, we need to compress the spring down with one millimeter displacement in the y direction. So I choose this surface and give it a displacement of U2. And the displacement is minus one millimeter so then we can get in the mesh module here we choose the sweep we choose the sweep technique to create mesh and the size is about it's about one millimeter. So we can create it on this part. Give it one. Okay. And mesh it. It's just the same with uh, we have created. The element type. Here we choose the thick, the quadratic word element because we have less element and we choose the reduced integration. So the element type is C3 D20 R. Okay, then we can create a job and submit it. It will finish in several minutes. Now we have solved this problem. So let's, let's check the result. 
as we can see, we just compress the screen down with one millimeter. So the displacement is minus one millimeter in the U2 the y direction. It's true. This is the animation. So it is, uh, we can check the stress, and the stress is 18 megapass, so it's entirely elastic deformation. And then how do we uh, get the static stiffness of this spring? Here we need to we need to know the force to compress it down. So here I choose create XY data with ODB field output. Then I choose the reaction force and in the Y direction. So I choose RF2. Then I need to choose this reference mode point because it is fixed. So the reaction force is with it. I just pick it here and get the curve. Because uh, I give it the increment, increment, so here we get a curve for its a length. And when we compress one millimeter, the force is the last value. So let's check about 2.97 Newton. It means that with with this spring, the stiffness is two point nine seven newton every millimeter. So we can check it in theoretical calculation. Uh, I know there is a website we can calculate calculate the stiffness of a spring here. I will attach this website with this video. Now we need to input some parameters. Here I have input like the diameter of screen wheel. It's three millimeter and diameter of screen thirty three and the three length of screen. It's 53, number of coils, 10, and the you know, smaller of material. I have used 206 gigapass in the model, so I input 206 and the partial ratio and density. Then we uh, the unit we can choose from here. It has different unit systems. So after we input these parameters and pick the unit system, we click the calculate again. Then it will give us the result. And the first result is the spring constant, K, just as the meaning, stiffness. So here it shows 2,917 newtons for every meter. Yeah, the unit is newton for every meter.
uh, yeah, it it's the same thing with the result we simulated. Two point nine seven, as we can see here, because here we cre we um, apply the displacement with one millimeter. So if we need to compress one meter, it needs two thousand nine hundred seventeen newtons. It. The simulation result is very close to the theoretical calculation, as we can see. So here is the static stiffness of a spring when the when the load is in the range of elastic range. Okay, if you if you learn from this, you you will know how to calculate the stiffness, static stiffness of a spring with abacuse and with simulation. So here is the all content of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in Abacus CE, please, subscri please subscribe my channel and let's learn together.